In today's app chat, a new release is opening up your options for getting down to business. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here, and we are talking about the new access to the popular Google Drive apps, right? Correct, yes. So Google Drive has been around for a while, and on Google Drive, which was all web-based, so you right. had to be connected to the internet, and you had to be using a browser, Okay. but you could create documents and spreadsheets and presentations and so forth, but if you were offline or on your mobile device, maybe even on your phone, how do you do that? Right. So they are just entered into the world of offline apps for doing docs and sheets and slides are soon to come. Wow, this <laughs> yeah. is huge. This is a big deal because this is a big departure from their cloud-based computing. So now you can actually edit offline. So if you're sitting on a train, you know, going to work or um, Traveling, on an airplane, right. you know, you can actually edit your docs offline and you couldn't do that before. That's such a time saver. Awesome. Right. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these. So I've got docs sheets and then they also have a new Google Drive that takes advantage of the offline capabilities between the docs and sheets. So we're going to get into these. All right. So take a look at docs. And if I do this, um, currently I'm online. So these are my docs that are online on Google Drive out in the cloud. Okay. But I've marked some of these as offline, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm going to go into one of these documents just to show you some of the editing features. You can go in, and I actually created this remotely on my mobile device. So I can go in, I can bold, italic, underline, oh. you know, I can justify left, right, center. I can also do things like, you know, typical formatting, I can go in and change fonts, I can highlight, I can change my background wow. colors if I want to highlight. So these again, these are all things that I can do now via my app that before you could only do via your browser while you were connected. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. So this, this is, is great. yeah, it's quite a bit different from, from what Google typically does. Mm -hmm. So um, you can also do search and replace. You could say find Jill, change it to Joe, you know, search and replace within wow. it. So it does have some powerful features. You can also bullet and number and so forth. Now, once you make your changes, I'm going to go ahead and say check to do those. Now, if you want to um, make these available offline, so when you're traveling, you can now go in and touch a little eye here, mm -hmm. and it has a whole bunch of different options. You can share these files, you can remove them, you can print them, you can rename them, and if you want to keep this on your device for editing offline, mark this to on. It defaults to off. Uh -huh. okay? And it will store a copy of that on your mobile device, Wonderful. on that device, whether it be your phone, your tablet, or even there's a desktop version as well. So nice. for, off, for offline. Okay. All right. So that is um, Docs. And one other thing I just want to show you here. So now if I go here to On Device, these are all of mine on Drive. But if I say, hey, let's see what's on my device that I can store off, work Look off. That. So these are the ones that I've got offline. Okay. Now if we go into Sheets, which is your spreadsheet capability, I created all of this using my phone. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oops, I just, oh, there we go. Well, now my question is, um, when I use this and I take the offline option and I work on it, how do I get it back into the system? Do, do I just go on next time I'm online, it, it ne automatically next updates? Next time you're online, it automatically updates to That's your Google Drive. That's similar to what Windows Offer does. It's very similar to what Windows has done. Now, uh -huh. Windows obviously has their full-blown packages, and there's a little bit of competition there. Yeah. And <laughs> now, but Microsoft's version costs quite a bit of money. You, you have pay, that subscription now. You have an annual subscription fee as part of Office 365. All of Google's apps, they're all free. Ooh, oh, hello, my favorite <laughs> price. But these are, they're, and they're not like what you would expect. You're getting a lot for this. You're getting a lot for this. Now, of course, in both the Microsoft versions and the Google versions of their Office, or their productivity suites, they are more limited as what you can do to their full-blown versions. Google's, their online version is very, very full-featured. Wow. And, has a lot, and it's free. Okay. And then, of course, in their offline version here in Excel, uh, not Excel, but in their spreadsheet version, you know, you can change your fonts, your cells, your bolds, italics. You can put in your calculations, your formulas, and so forth. Now, you can't create charts here. Uh -huh. but, but you can do quite a bit. You can do quite a bit offline. And so. that's amazing. And I know you've got way more information I on do. this for you <laughs> with our e-newsletters that we get from her. So what you want to do is go to our website, WLOS.com, click on Tech Time. You'll walk through what we just did again, but also you'll be given an opportunity to send an email to iPadWisdom at gmail.com put subscribe in that line and you'll get the full explanation. Yeah. And there's quite a few tips and tricks here that I'm going to add into that. So watch for that. Yeah, that'll right. come out in a couple of days. So be sure and subscribe if you like those tips about how to operate offline and how to save your business really a lot of money by That's using these types. Great. Yeah. yeah. And so next week, what do you think? Next week, we're going to look at another Google app. I think we're going to look at Google Hangouts is what we're going to explore. So if you haven't used it yet, cool. I'm going to show you how. Thus, you can sign up to receive her e-newsletter. Simply send an email to iPadWisdom at gmail.com be sure to enter subscribe in the subject line. 